Faced with cheap drones, the big headache of USA and Russia, are laser weapons with their promise of high-speed, cost-effective defense the definitive paradigm shift in military technology? Or are they a mere shimmering fantasy in the war zone? Let's explore the captivating saga of the US Navy's chase for this avant-garde technology. The quest commenced earnestly about a decade ago, with the USS Ponce amphibious landing ship initiating the trials of laser weapons. The attraction was undeniably persuasive. Laser weapons could be the perfect remedy to counter low-cost makeshift drones, akin to the ones deployed by Houthi militants in Yemen. These drones, hastily assembled using budget-friendly components, carry a price tag of just a few thousand dollars, while the missiles needed to intercept them can cost millions. In comparison, laser weapons necessitate a modest $13 per discharge. From 2009 to 2012, the U.S. Navy successfully tested early ship-based laser weapon systems. This initial success led to the launch of multiple laser weapon projects, including the Naval Optical Dazzling Interceptor and the Navy Surface Laser Weapon System, Increment 1. Yet despite this promising start, these laser weapons have yet to achieve actual combat capabilities, much to the frustration of the U.S. Navy's top brass. The lack of deployable laser weapons is a concern not just in conflicts with the Houthis, but also in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. Both sides have recognized the significant role of consumer-grade multi-rotor drones in battlefield reconnaissance, situational awareness, and reconnaissance and calibration. The ubiquity of drones on the battlefield has prompted Russia and Ukraine to equip their front lines with anti-drone jamming guns designed to interfere with the signals of commercial-grade rotary wing drones. However, these methods of dealing with cheap drones have their limitations. Traditional battlefield surveillance and warning radars often set speed gate limits, filtering out slower aerial targets as clutter. This means that low-altitude, lightweight drones often go unnoticed by radar. Even when these drones are detected, their extremely low altitude and small target reflection cross-section often mean that the interception distance is too close, giving the air defense system little time to respond. So, what can we glean from this exploration of the U.S. Navy's journey with laser weapons? First, the potential benefits of laser weapons are clear. They offer a cost-effective, rapid response to threats like cheap drones, However, the technology is still not ready for deployment, despite a decade of testing and development. And with conflicts escalating around the globe, the need for an effective counter to low-cost drone technology is more pressing than ever. The journey to develop and deploy laser weapons is far from over. It's a complex challenge, but one that the U.S. Navy and indeed militaries worldwide are determined to overcome. The stakes are high, but so too is the potential payoff a new era of defense technology that could revolutionize the battlefield. As the story of laser weapons continues to unfold, one thing is certain. The future of military technology is a fascinating field, with laser weapons shining brightly on the horizon.